I'm an oil painter. From North Carolina, and I live in Dorset now. I like the openness. Dorset has space. I'm really thankful for that. That's, it's got a lot of, it feels very similar to a lot of things that I'm used to from North Carolina. I've spent so much time learning a craft and, and, and learning how to improve and improve. And generally when the term artist is applied, I think of artists and I like the term painter. I paint. I think you um, you learn you learn from from exploring different pigments and and it depends on what you're painting. But paint, for the most part, is is made of dirt. It's clay. It's iron oxide. It's it's all over the place. And yeah, back home we had um, we had those beautiful colors that you see in the clay of reds and oranges and purples. And when we had a big cold snap and I'm talking sub-zero, sub-freezing temperatures for a couple weeks. And, and I turned off the heating in the studio and opened the windows and got it down to that temperature um, after bringing the bird out and thawing it. And I got it in position, and then it froze again. In position, so I had to basically get dressed up like a turkey hunter. As hard as it was, dealing with the cold inside the studio. You know, you gotta heat your paint up because the paint's oil-based, so oil slows down. And there were a lot of things like landscape painting that I had to overcome, but, um, but I got it done. I think with all the running around outside, I've, I've done, you know, fishing and things like that. Um, I think that that probably does influence my work and to have something that's still warm and natural. You want a variety of texture and, and color and all of that, but the natural stuff, the things that have been grown and picked, um, they give it, I don't know, a, a more of a connection, I think. I hope it shows that I like painting. I like painting nice, fancy bottles of wine, the cheese and the fruits and everything. I do like that. There's, to me, it's like architecture and there's, there's a lot of grace in these things. But at the same time, I, I have to give as much dedication if I see that I've got four balls of twine in my tool shed that all of a sudden look kind of interesting. I've got to explore that too. It still has that thing of, of slowness. And you know, timeless is always used in paintings, but when people, when they see it, and they slow down and they have a look and they'll go away. And if, if it's their painting, they'll keep coming back and looking at it. Slow and calm. And yeah, I guess for a southerner, that's easy. Slow is familiar. I keep driving by that sea. And this is a new place with big cliffs and big sea and big clouds and I feel some big seascapes coming. <laughs>